Hello Internet! Here's how to make a remote control turntable for around $50. It will let you precisely rotate objects using a remote control on your smartphone. It combines a Raspberry Pi Pico, some 3D printed parts and a stepper motor. This enables you to make automated stop motion videos of things spinning. We'll show you one example at the end of this video. The turntable could be adapted to make other things like a rotating TV stand, a cake decorating robot or a desktop marshmallow toaster. We built the device around a thing called a Lazy Susan. A Lazy Susan is a turntable made to easily rotate food around a table for sharing. No offence to Susan, but there's a few additions we'd like to make. We intend to be even lazier, so we're adding a remote control. We need things to be precise and repeatable, so we're adding the kind of motor that you find on 3D printers. These stepper motors can break a single revolution into thousands of tiny steps. We're also making it programmable, so you can move things in any combination of steps using MicroPython code. We'll also ditch the mean name and call our device Twirly Shirley. Put all those things together and you get a solution that looks a bit like this. For our components, we combine the following. Lazy Susan bearing to drive the rotation. This is a six inch one that costs around $13. A Raspberry Pi Pico W, stepper motor, driver board, two 100 microfarad capacitors, PD trigger, step down voltage converter, prototype board to mount things onto, and finally some 3D printed components. The Pico will be controlled using a smartphone on the same Wi-Fi network. The remote control on the smartphone is really a web page on the Pico. Pressing buttons on the remote will turn the motor. Now that we have all our components and a motor that turns on command, we need to use the rotation of the motor to spin the Lazy Susan bearing. One way to do this is with some 3D printed gears. The large gear clicks into the middle of the bearing. and gets driven by the motor. Gears can be tricky to design, but as is often the case, there's an open source gear generator in OpenSCAD by Chris Spencer. This software makes gears really easy to design and adjust. Our original prototype used a worm gear. A worm gear is one that turns another gear placed at 90 degrees to the axis of the motor. In that prototype, the second gear drove a third that was fixed at the inner ring of the bearing. When refining things, it's generally better to simplify rather than adding complexity. So in the final version, we reposition the motor and only use two gears. Less is more. All the components get fitted into the 3D printed base and the bearing sits on top. Links to the SDL files for the gears and the case are in the description for this video. The general narrative structure of maker videos on YouTube is the famous hero's journey. It's a common storytelling structure, and once you know about it, you'll see it everywhere. For maker videos, the journey starts with our hero having an idea, but they break some things and then there's a crisis. So we root for them as they frustratedly try to make things work. Finally, when all hope seems lost, there's a moment of triumph, everything falls into place, and our hero is victorious. However, our project is all about minimising effort, so we'll skip past the struggle, move straight to the bit where it works, and this bears you having to watch us make a driver script, learning how PD triggers work, and making the remote look pretty with CSS. Here's the finished device, and here it is in action. Now that you have a working turntable that you can automate with code, there are things that you can make it do, like getting it to turn a full circle with lots of little steps, and at each step taking a photo. Here's the photographs from a single program twirl, combined in a video editor and set to music. So that's how you combine a PD trigger, stepper motor, printer gears and a microcontroller running a web server to make a programmable turntable.
All the code and instructions as well as the 3D printed gears are in our GitHub repository. We made plenty of mistakes along the way, but hopefully our instructions will save you oodles of time when you're building your cake decorating robot. Thanks for watching.